A unique shop in Abilene is bringing medieval flair to our modern times and opening its doors and raising a glass of the local brew. Kate has Mercedes Hernandez has more on how the Amber Dragon Meadery came to spread its wings. Painted shields, shining armor, and old school combat weapons are what you'll find on the walls of the Amber Dragon Meadery. There is a lot to get into on this medieval stop on Butternut Street, but first we've got to pour over some history. Back in 2019, the Abilene City Council approved rezoning a building recently purchased by Ronald Poston, so he could pursue at that time a shoe manufacturer primarily. And meat is a honey wine. Jump to today, where Poston and his wife Lorraine Esman have a thriving meadery. We have these smaller bottles. So these are six point. 6.5 ounce or single servings. The couple says they've been officially operational for almost a year now. They had to forgo growing mushrooms, the pandemic wrenching those plans when restaurants shut their doors. And we lost 850 pounds of media and mushrooms and everything else. I switched gears and started putting all my time here. While the pandemic may have stunted the mushrooms, it did in a way help their honey wine venture lift off. It wasn't that it impacted us adversely because we don't have a sit down facility where people come and drink. It's they came, they bought, they left. I'm safe drinking. Right, they were home safe drinking it. As life begins settling back to normal, Poston says he's thankful he can open his passion up for visitors of all kinds to share. I wanted to create a place that people could come and be themselves. Veteran patrons like John Cox says it's more than the honey wine that draws him back in. Well, besides the, um, the mead, that man right there. Why is that? Uh, just great family atmosphere, down to earth. Uh, really knows how to take care of his customers. In Abilene, with coverage you can count on. Mercedes Hernandez, KTAB News. Thank you, Mercedes. As you saw in that final shot, the meadery is open when the flag is outside and flying. You can also find their meat at local spots like Grain Theory, Sock Dolliger, and Big Johnson's Liquor. Well, interesting approach. Hey, and they made it through. Congratulations to them. See how it works out. Oh.